Hi, I'm John Gilstrap, author of the Jonathan Grave Thriller series, here with another writer's view on writing and publishing. This week, we're going to talk about writers' conferences. This at the request of a Twitter follower of mine, at T.A. Sullivan 8. Thank you very much, at T.A. Uh, he asked me specifically to talk about that, so that's what we are going to do. Um, writers' conferences. First of all, you need to understand there's a difference between writers' conferences and writers' workshops. If you want to go to a place where you learn more about craft and you learn about better sentence construction and you really learn about the writing process, that's a writing workshop that you want to go to, not a writers' conference. And we can talk about those in, in a different video, but that's not what we're talking about here. A writers' conference is just like any other conference. It's a place to go and confer. It's uh, You get together with a group of writers and often fans, and uh, you conduct business. There are, there are panels, there are workshops, there are, oftentimes there are pitch sessions where you can go and pitch your idea to agents and editors. Again, that'd be a great topic for a future video. It's, it's outside the, the span of this one. But the question is, are these things worth your time and money? And they can be expensive. It depends on where they're located, but it's always travel. It's always time away from home, it's always hotel rooms and meals and that sort of thing. So are they really worth the expense? The only answer I can give you is it depends on what you're hoping to get out of it, what, what your goals of, uh, of this thing are. There are two broad types of conferences. One is a fan-based conference and the other is an industry-based or an industry-focused, writer-focused uh, conference. These things can be huge or they can be small. Uh, every genre, I write thrillers, uh, every genre has its trade associations and its corresponding uh, conferences that you can attend. The, uh, like I said, I do thrillers, so I tend to go to the suspense mystery thriller conferences. But I know that the sci-fi writers have their conferences and romance writers, oh my goodness, some of the largest wildest parties you'll ever see are among uh, romance authors and, and romance fans. And they tend to, they're all over the world. So what are you looking to get out of it? Um, if you're going to a fan-based conference and you don't yet have fans, I would say that that might not be the best idea. Of course, it's your money and it's your time. You decide what you're going to do. Um, I prefer to go to the industry for well it's, it's kind of a, a a mixed bag for me i go to thriller fest every year it's held in new york city in july thriller fest as you might imagine is conducted by the international international thriller writers association and i go for several reasons first of all it's a great party i know many of my friends are thriller writers so we get to hang out together but it's also in new york city which is the ground zero for the publishing industry. So while I'm there, I meet with my editor, I meet with my publisher, I meet with my publicist, I meet with my agent, I meet with, you know, all God's children are there in New York, and they make it a point to be at Thriller Fest. So that's very important to me. Uh, I also go to BoucherCon, which is the World Mystery Convention, which is much more fan-focused and has a much broader, uh, broader appeal. Uh, you have the, the hardcore mystery writers in the same conference as the cozy mystery writers. You know, we're talking cats and dead butlers and libraries and that sort of thing, casting no aspersions. Um, I, you know, I expect very little out of a conference. What I really expect are contacts and uh, conversation. Remember, I've said this before in a different video, the publishing business is first and foremost a business, which means that, that networking matters. You get to know people. It's a people-based business. And if you're going to get to meet writers and people in the industry, it's good to go where writers and people in the industry are going to be. Now, having said that, there is exactly one place to hang out at a conference, and that is at the bar. 100% of all business, in my experience, is conducted at the bar. It's not during the day, during the sessions. It's at the bar. You don't have to drink. You just, I think you're squandering opportunity. If you find yourself going to bed early so that you can get up and attend the eight o'clock panel on characterization or you know, whatever the case may be, you are squandering opportunity. And here's why. 
The people who hang out at the bar, the writers who hang out at the bar, are there on purpose. They are not hiding. They're not trying to be exclusive. Um, it's, y'all, everybody's equal when it comes to the bar. It's not a cliquish industry in my experience. It may look that way sometimes because people, you know, I've been doing this for over 20 years, so I know a lot of folks and we tend to hang out together, but that doesn't mean that you're not welcome. In fact, I think that every author I know is welcome to have, is to, to have other people come and join. And if you are a fledgling writer and you're trying to develop the context, that is the place to be. And there really are no rules. Well, there are a couple of rules, but they're not, they're soft rules. One of them, don't be shy. Um, it, it's, you're there to meet people, right? So don't be shy. Run up, even if you're an introvert, you can sleep for a week afterwards. Get to know folks. But you don't want to be obnoxious either. Don't be handing out piles of manuscripts or, or bookmarks to people who haven't asked for them. Ditto pitches for your book. If people want to know, people are going to ask. And frankly, it's a little rude. Imagine going to somebody's living room and where there's a party going on and then all of a sudden you want to talk about a story that, that you've written. You're there to get to know people as people, not as career assets. I can't stress that enough. And I hope this isn't sounding like some... some uh, being obnoxious myself. It's not about being exclusive. It's about being polite. And don't think for a minute that you're going to pay for this trip out of your book sales. Nobody does. I don't care who you are. John Grisham or, or Lee Child can go to a conference and there's no way he can sell enough books to pay for the trip. The point is to go and make friends. Uh, if, it, if you're early in the conference cycle, a friend, uh, an acquaintance becomes a friend, and who doesn't want to lend aid to a friend, right? So, conferences. I think they're worthwhile. I also think that they are expendable if uh, you're brand new in your career and uh, your money would probably be better spent going to workshops, which, like I said, we can discuss later. All right. Did I miss anything? Uh, there's a whole lot more information on writing and publishing on my website, so please feel free to click the link wherever it shows up in, in your viewing platform. And remember, what we're trying to do here is create a community. So if you have any questions or comments or additions or suggestions for a future video, please feel free to post them here. Um, also, within the postings, if you all want to have a conversation going back with each other, I'll certainly be involved, but that's fine too. All right, so... Um, that's it for now. No, one other thing. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, and until next time, y'all take care. And please keep reading. I'm John Gilstrap.